Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and the woke rewrite of history has come for Joan of Arc now after coming for Anne Boleyn and so many other people like them. But Joan of Arc is now officially going to be non-binary in a performance at the Globe Theatre in London. Now, I love the Globe Theatre. I'm a big, big Shakespeare nerd. I've been to the Globe Theatre. I love that place so much, and it features one of my favorite Doctor Who episodes ever with David Tennant and Martha Jones. It is just an incredible episode, and apparently even J.K. Rowling is coming out against this historical rewrite, this bastardization of Joan of Arc. And she has some really great comments here that I don't necessarily want to get into, but I just wanted to shout out good old JK in the words of David Tennant. But yeah, apparently non-binary Joan of Arc play causes a stir as critics turn on a depiction of a cultural icon. Now, there's a lot of problems with this. Normally, when it comes to theatrical performances, I'm not that big on casting. Normally, like race and gender swaps and casting and theatrical performances, a little bit different. Something as big as the globe may follow the same rules that I apply to Hollywood and stuff like that. But for the most part, theatrical performances, I'm not as invested in accuracy. Like if a high school team wanted to adapt a Shakespeare play and they didn't have the right gender or ethnicity for everything that's totally fine a theater there's a lot more restrictions sometimes in the smaller performances i'm a lot more forgiving of stuff like that but this is the globe freaking theater this is the biggest performance hall in the world well not size wise but importance wise no place on earth has been as impactful to the theatrical genre than the globe at least still standing today and the fact that they're going to be changing Joan of Arc specifically is something that's very concerning because she is a feminist icon in the truest sense of the word. She has an incredible story that is incredibly impactful and means so much to so many people. And that's regardless of race, gender, or creed. She just has a powerful and inspiring story that has inspired me and so many other people. And so they're changing a fundamental nature of that story. Her womanness is a huge part of that story. And that's why her story stands out is because she's a woman. That matters. So maybe making it a non-binary character seems counterintuitive to the true and impactful story of Joan of Arc. It contradicts the point of Joan of Arc. So I get where JK is coming from, where she says this is a co-op of a feminist role model for current day ideological reasons. Now, I don't think any historical figure should be weaponized in any way, shape, or form in any sort of direction like they're doing with this character. This is 100% for political reasons. If it weren't for done for political reasons, hiring a non-binary actor but keeping the role the same, that would have been fine. I actually would have been okay with that because theatrical, I do think they fall under different rules, even if this is the globe, but this is like high end, like probably should still try to keep it as accurate as possible because they are the globe. A little bit more messy for me in the casting approach, but the writing, they are making it a non-binary portrayal of Joan, and that's where the problem is. These people, they constantly want to rewrite history, and that's a painfully horrific thing because even at our worst, history is an essential part in understanding our past and our culture and our future. You can always look to the past to understand our future, and by erasing it, changing it, we lose so much and we learn so many lessons. I mean, the trial and error, that happens on a societal scale just as much as on an individual scale. So if we lose a lot of the trial and error of the past, we're doomed to repeat a lot of those trials and error. So I don't think history should be written in any way. I don't think history should be censored in any way, maybe kept from younger audiences for a time, but history needs to stay pure because we've learned so much from it and we value so much from it that we lose a lot. Like Joan of Arc's story, I think doesn't matter if she's not a woman. If she were just a man, her story would still be cool. Like the war efforts that she did but a lot of the point of her character is lost if she's not a woman and that's fundamentally changing a historical event for modern day purposes bastardizing the past to fit the present and that is a dangerous past to go on that could have devastating consequences on the large scale with lots of these not individually that could affect our society as a whole and that's a very harmful thing to Everyone, not just young girls like modern day people seem to think it needs to be attracted to. No, the story of Joan of Arc is incredibly impactful to everyone and changing it affects everyone on a cultural level. And so I think this is wrong. I think this is disgusting in so many different ways. And if it were a movie, I think I'd care a little bit more about the casting, but the fact that they're changing the story, I think that is the thing to highlight here above the casting of the person playing Joan of Arc. Now, I really don't have a lot to say on this performance beyond that. I'm sure the it, the play might be fine. It's the Globe. They're some of the greatest theatrical minds in the world, so it might be technically good from a technical aspect, but the writing will be abysmal because they've bastardized history to this extent, and it's really horrific to see. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon.
you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.